Today's about showing Tasmania, showing Australia, showing the world and the government that we can no longer stand for this. We can no longer stand to watch these beautiful creatures be poached and killed needlessly. We can no longer have the attitude where we can turn a blind eye, we can no longer have a she'll be right attitude and we cannot presume that someone else will take care of it and things will be okay. Because it has gone beyond that point. Tasmania, it is not okay. And that someone that we have hoped would take care of things, the government, has done nothing. That is why we are here today. That is why we are speaking out. The Japanese slaughter, this bloody destruction of our great fellow mammals in the Antarctic waters is based on one huge lie that it is for scientific purposes. And we all know and they know that is a lie. It's for the yen, for the dollar, for money. And we as a country which ended whaling under the Fraser government back in 1978 have come to see whales not as something to slaughter but something to relate to, to gain great fulfilment as human beings out of and to have an economic treasure as thousands or millions of Australians go to or want to go to see the whales which go up and down our coast and which carve off our shores each year. The same whales that the Japanese whaling fleet, this is not the Japanese people, this is the Japanese plunderers, have our whales aimed, targeted by explosive head torpedoes called harpoons which burst in the bodies of these great mammals near their spine and leave them to die in agony over the following half hour before they're carted aboard, cut up, taken to Tokyo and no one else is going to bring an end to this slaughter but we people whose cousins in Japan are enabling it. Before the last election the Rudd government told us after 13 years of inactivity by the Howard government, and I quote Peter Garrett, Labor would have the guts to take on the whalers. Well, has there ever been such a broken promise from this Prime Minister Rudd or that Environment Minister Peter Garrett? What is the difference between a whale and Peter Garrett? Well, a whale is sold in Japan. Peter Garrett has sold out Australia on whaling. Don Rothwell from the Australian National University has made it clear that we have the legal means to put an end to this whaling if we take it to the international courts. Kevin Rudd promised he would take it to the international courts. He has broken that promise. He says now he may do, after the next International Whaling Commission meeting in June. Meanwhile, while Mr Rudd sits on his hands, while Peter Garrett sits on his hands, the whales are being slaughtered. Our whales in our waters, in the absence of our nation, because our government has sold this nation out on whaling. And it's up to us as people not to accept that. Um, I'm 17 and um, I worked on the boat while I was in the harbour. I basically wanted to say today that um, I can't accept that I'm going to live on a dead planet for the next 70 years. Um, I want a future in which whales and elephants and tigers are more than just bones in a museum. I want a future where they're all alive and living and running and swimming and doing what they're supposed to do. I want a future where more than just a few people like us realise that the, pe the um, fellow life forms on this planet are more than stupid animals that are to be exploited, that they're actually our brothers and sisters as much as our family and friends are. 
And um, above all else, I want a future where I don't have to see a brother or a sister of mine being shot in the head by an exploding harpoon on television like it's something even resembling sanity. I want to breathe clean air, feel warm, clean dirt between my toes, look into the distance and see green forests running over the hills and in the other direction the ocean stretching out, clean and pristine and beautiful and the way it should be. Uh, my time in Antarctica, I was up close and personal with whales. They are, as Bob was saying, incredibly intelligent creatures that we don't even understand yet how intelligent they are. When their eye is a meter from your face, you see that intelligence like you're talking to Bob. I mean, these are amazing creatures. And I'll tell you what, they go out of their way to not hurt us. We're out there in our little rubber boats in the middle of the Southern Ocean, and they make sure they get as close as they can to look at us, but they don't touch. Can't we do the same back? Yeah. Yeah. I'm here speaking on behalf of a lot of people who don't feel they can get up and talk in front of people. And one of those is my research associate in Antarctica. He's got a PhD, he's a medical doctor, incredibly accomplished human being, studied penguins, studied all sorts of things, and he, just felt he couldn't stand up. So this is his, what he sent to me in the email. He didn't know I was going to read it out loud. He says, good luck at the anti-whaling rally. I feel so strongly about whaling that I would be an ineffective speaker. It is fundamentally morally loathsome, and I am appalled that a modern world government could allow this to happen. I just can't calmly recite the reasons to condone such a thing without sputtering in rage. And we are all here to sputter in rage. People all over the world, including the Japanese people, believe that it's time the whaling program is stopped and public money be spent on more useful things. Those committed people in the Sea Shepherd and the AD Gill who risk their bodies to fight for justice are examples of human spirit and in essence they are heroic. They're putting the lives on the line for us and it's really, really quite amazing. The Sea Shepherd are fighting to protect whales on the high seas and Ocean Planet and Environment Tasmania are here supporting them and trying to fight to ensure our oceans are protected so that whale populations might prosper. Thanks everybody for showing your commitment today. We all have empowerment and are empowered in different ways and every way that you act is powerful because our government has committed to stopping whaling and committed to creating marine reserves and we need to make them make them do that. So join Sea Shepherd, join Ocean Planet and do everything you can to help stop whaling for now.